The Nippon State football team has been a powerhouse in the Southland Conference for the past two seasons thanks to tremendous play from the big guys in the trenches. Fourth-year coach Tim Rebo put an emphasis on recruiting big physical offensive and defensive linemen, and it has paid off extremely well for his Colonels, who are tied for first place in the Southland Conference and ranked 15 in the latest FCS coaches poll. I think you can win games up front. You have to be able to run the football, and you have to be able to stop the run. If you do that, then you're going to have a chance. I mean, it's not a guarantee you're going to win every game, but you're going to have a chance to do that. I think it starts off with our, with our line coaches. I think Coach Lee Russo does an outstanding job with the offensive line. Marcus Lovings has developed these guys into a, a, a sack machine right now. These guys are on pace to really have a great season doing that. So, it, it, and it also is the players. The players have to believe in what you're doing. They have to trust in it. They have to know, uh, know what you're talking about. But those guys do so well uh, in practice and in games. There's, there's not a look that the offensive line did, uh, does not see that they don't know what they're doing. And they're well coached, and those guys make adjustments all game long. Defensive line is a little bit of a pride thing now. Uh, we got a bunch of good players up there, and they're always helping each other and coaching each other up to see who's going to be the next one to get the sack. Junior quarterback Chase Forkade and a host of running backs, including Dontrell Taylor, Kendall Bussey, and Julian Gums, have been able to get behind that big physical offensive line and pound the ball down opponents' throats at will, which has helped develop this offense and open up the passing game. The run game, like, I, like you said, been there for I, I, pretty much the whole year, and just the O line just. They're doing a great job just finding, like, just making blocks and letting the running backs find holes and just, you know, doing their job. You know, the Houston Baptist game, we got about six yards of carry. And, you know what I'm saying, that just, that just opens up the pass as well, just with the RPOs. And, uh, you know, the team's starting now to, to stack the box and just bringing a seventh guy in there. And that just opens up more with the passing game with JP and Dejon and Gabe, Dantes, Aaron, all of them. They, they just get open, they just make plays, and they just do what they can to uh, just be successful in each drive. And, you know, we just got to just, like I said, sustain drives and just keep it going, and that's what we've been doing. The Colonel defense has been smothering opponents all season and lead the Southland Conference in scoring defense, passing yards allowed per game, and sacks. The defense prides itself on being very grimy at the point of attack and playing every snap like it's the most important of the game. I think what makes our defense so special is it comes down really to three things, uh, effort, execution, and a one-snap mentality. Uh, you know, at this level, everybody has talent. Everybody's on scholarship, you know, the guys that you play against. But, you know, the things that you control, your effort and your execution, that's what our coaches preach, you know. You have to execute better to win. You have to execute better to come out on top. And the effort is a mindset, you know. If you play hard every snap, good things going to happen. If you run to the ball, you're going to be able to make plays. And then lastly, our one-snap mentality, you know, good play or bad play, you got to be able to flush it, and you have to know that there's going to be another play after that, and you're going to have to be able to be able and be ready to make the next play. The Colonels end this season this Thursday, November 15th, against the Southeastern Lions in a game that has serious playoff implications. If the Colonels win, they hold a share of the Southland Conference title, and they get an automatic bid into the playoffs. If they lose, things might be a little more complicated. With KNSU TV, I'm Ryan Price.